Hey there, I'm Kristen from icstarsquilting.com. Lately, we have been talking a lot about different things in your sewing room. Today, we're gonna make something. So, like I said, today, we're gonna make something together. I don't know why it's taking me so long. I just kind of put it on the back burner for someday I'll make that. The other day, when I pulled a bowl out of my microwave and nearly scalded my hand, I thought, you know what, it's time. Let's make that thing. So this is what we're gonna make right here. It is a bowl cozy or a bowl coaster or um, it's also going to be known as Kristen is not going to burn herself on a bowl when she pulls it out of the microwave anymore. So what we are going to start with is very simple. You can use fat quarters for this. You can use scrap fabric. You can stitch together all the tiny pieces of fabric that you have. I mean, this is really a versatile project. This is what you're going to need. Two different pieces of fabric. So a top piece and a bottom piece. And then you are going to need two layers of batting. Two of them, okay? This is going to help make it not hot. And something that is really helpful is this right here. This is what I'm using to trim out my pieces. It is a 10 inch square. It's acrylic. It's made by the Gadget Girls. I have these in every single size. I love these. They are so handy when you're doing this, but it is not necessary for this project. This is just the size that I decided on. I'm making 10 inch squares for my bowls. You'll also need this right here, your rotary cutter. Now I did a video last week on how to cut your pieces. Check that out if you get a chance. It has some really useful tips in there that you don't always hear about cutting your fabric. Quick tip for this project. What you are going to want to use is cotton fabric, cotton thread, and cotton batting. Don't use polyester, don't use metallic. You know, this can go in your microwave. So don't use those things. You don't want to start a fire. You don't want sparks flying in your microwave. Cotton batting, cotton thread, and cotton fabric. Okay, so let's get to it. What we are going to do is we are going to take our back fabric or one of our fabrics and line it up exactly with one of our batting pieces. Then you are going to take your other fabric and you're going to line it up exactly with your other batting piece. Get it all nice and evened up. And then I want you to draw a line from corner to corner and making a big X across the middle of it. That is going to be your stitch line. What I've got here is I have already done the stitches, made a little X pattern just like that. I'm going to fold your fabric in half. I want you to take the fabric side and fold it this way. So fold it to where the crisscross of your X is right there in the middle. You're going to take your ruler and you are going to measure in one inch and down two inches and then draw a diagonal line from there. I want you to do this on both sides. Take it to your machine, stitch it. This is what it looks like after you've stitched it. So you're gonna have both ends stitched just like this, one inch in and two inches down. Open it up a little bit, fold it the other way where again, you're creasing right at that middle X. Go ahead and do one inch in here and two inches down here and then stitch that diagonal line. have sewn the little darts and all four sides one two three four and one two three four you can take your scissors and trim the excess fabric off of your darts of your bowl, turn one of them inside out where the fabric is on the inside. Take the other one and put the fabric on the outside. So what you're going to do is you're going to make your two fabrics line up together, right sides together. And then I want you to 
stick a few pins, okay? You're going to do your pins for reference. Put pins at your darts, put pins at your points, even stick a few pins in between if you want to help you keep those steady. guess what the next step is. You're going to sew around the top edge of your new bowl. However, do not sew all the way around. Leave yourself a gap about, I don't know, yay big or so, just enough to turn it inside out and then you can hand stitch it closed. of my bowl. Next thing I'm going to do is open it up and turn it right side out. One of the things that's really, really helpful for this is this right here. It's just a regular chopstick. You can also use a pin. There is also a quilting tool called that purple thing. That is, um, it does the same thing basically. And all it's going to help you do is really poke out those corners and make them perfect. So I've got the tool inside here and I'm just squishing out the edges. All that you'll have left is this area right here, which you can hand stitch closed. Ta-da, you have your cute little bowl. Isn't it so cute? Okay, I'm gonna go hand stitch like the 10 of these that I have made because I also decided not only do I need some, but my family needs some, and it's like two days before Christmas, so you know, this is the perfect time for me to get started on them, right? I hope that you enjoyed sewing along with me. Thanks for watching this video. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact me. Comment down below. I answer every single comment that I get on YouTube personally. You will also see a little subscribe button down below. Hit it! That way you'll be notified when I post videos. I post videos every single week. You can also go over to my website, which is icstarsquilting.com and check out all the free content that I have there. So much good stuff over there. Again, I'm Kristen with icstarsquilting.com. I'll see you soon. Bye.